Hello from Eastern CCTV. In this video, we are going to go over the system module for the Titanium series NVRs. Under our basic settings tree, we have our general settings in which we can name the DVR. We can put the number of the DVR, which allows us to modify the IR channel for remote controls. We can also select our language, our video format, and our resolution. We have our enable wizard option, which we can disable to prevent the wizard from coming up when rebooting the system. The login automatically option, we can enable or disable. We also have a logout automatically option. We have our wait time option, which we can configure from 10 seconds to 10 minutes. Under date and time, we can modify the system time. We can change the date format. We can rearrange the year, the month, and the day. We can change between 24 hour and 12 hour mode. We can also decide whether we want the time to sync with the network by enabling NTP or leaving it as manual mode. We can also set the GMT or the time zone. Under output settings, we have the option to set up predefined displays. So here we can change our channel layout and we can drag and drop individual cameras or we can drag and drop single channel sequences if we have created it. Under maintenance we can search our logs. We can change our types from alarm, operation, settings and exceptions. We can also modify the start time and the end time for the logs that we are searching. Under factory default we can factory default the unit. Under upgrade, we can perform firmware upgrades if we have uh, firmware files on the USB drive. Within backup and restore, we can create a backup if we have a USB drive connected, and we can also recover previous configurations. The information section is gonna give us an overview of the system. Under basic, we have our device name, our model, our video format, our hardware, kernel, firmware, and serial number, we can also find here. Under camera status, we can see the status of cameras that are added to the system. In this case, we see that our status is online. We have no alarm, but we do have a record exception. Under alarm status, we can see our various alarms from alarm in to alarm out, motion and exceptions. If we check out our alarm in, our sensor four is actually going off right now. Under record status, we can see our list of our cameras. We can see the status, the frames per second, the current bit rate, resolution, and the type of record that is currently active. Under network status, we can see our ethernet information, such as our IP address, our subnet mask, and our gateway. We can see which port numbers we're using, and we can also see the bandwidth on the system. We can see the total bandwidth, the remaining total send, and the remaining send bandwidth. We can also see our NAT status and see whether it's enabled or disabled. Under disk information, we can see our disk, the capacity, the status, the source, and what group it belongs to. This was the system module for the Titanium Series NVR. Thank you for watching.